Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Godsman Biazi, and in this tutorial, I'm going to give you a guide on how you can create new posts in WordPress and how to sell digital products. Now, let's start with what um, a post is. Okay, now in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a new post or article in WordPress, and I'll also show you how to sell digital products online eg we have music pdf videos and many other products using your wordpress blog with easy digital download or um, plugin installed so let me give you a brief um, introduction of what posts are and what um, digital downloads mean posts are blog entries or articles that are displayed chronologically in order that is in a chronological order on your home page now take a look at my blog which is x3coder.com you can see here this is the post the home page so each of these posts they are arranged in order of the latest post first if you check very well you can see for this one was made july 17 2019 july june 22 and you can see this is june 23 june 24 june 27 so the latest post comes first when you're making a blog post it's arranged in what a chronological order so um and this chronological order is something you can always find on your home page so the new post always comes at the top unlike pages and or, uh, unlike pages posts usually have a uh, comment feeds beneath them and are also inclined to your sites rss feed i know you don't really understand what rss feed is but for better understanding i'll advise you search the next or uh, user dictionary so now on the note of digital downloads what is digital downloads digital downloads are also or made like post the difference there is that they include price tags though not all digital downloads include include price tags but for the ones we are going to be making in this tutorial we are going to include price various price for each of the products that we are going to add so this will give them the people that is your web visitors or your impending buyers tell them the price and then give them the um, availability and the what is it called the option to purchase such a product now take for example we'll come to this um, website um, JV music Empire you can see at this section these are the digital downloads you can see we have um, a fixed price here which is hundred naira. you can always click on purchase to buy that and you also have um, variable prices for different um products like the track one of this song has its own price let's say track two can be the um instrumental and track three the album so these are variable prices so this is a digital uh, product which is on sale so to purchase it all the visitor has to do or the customer has to do is select which of the product he or she wants to buy and then click on purchase now this will load up the site and then um show or uh, that is to add the product to cart and the person will have to check out fill in his or her information from this section and make a uh, payment okay so um uh, for this website for this um tutorial we're going to be making use of paystack as our mode of payment okay like for example um here we have our pay stack it's one of the easiest way to accept payment if you stay in africa like if you're in ghana nigeria and any other african country you can but for now it's really based in nigeria and ghana well you can use it to accept payment some of the payment methods that they accept is card mobile money bank accounts m m cash and gtb 737 with visa qr you know 
when you scan the code to make purchase so these are these ones here are the ones that are very commonly active as of now at the time i'm making this video but for these ones i'm not really using these ones for now okay so these are some of the opportunities and the reasons why we are using paystack okay the paystack account for you to check if to check your payments and other informations about the activities that are going on on the website the number of people that have made purchase and your money and how much you've earned so far per the day you can always log in to your paystack dashboard once you click on the login it will display this login form so here you can put in your username the one you use to register for the paystack account and your password then you click on login once you do so it will take you to your paystack dashboard you can see here the next payout and what the revenue you've earned so far so on the paystack like i said we are currently using a starter business account so this starter business account gives you a limit of two million naira that you can withdraw but if you are to upgrade to a registered business then you can withdraw more than that and as of now you don't decide when you get paid for this or uh, paystack account since you are using a starter business account rather they will pay you in the next 12 hours after they have verified the payment so once a once any funds or money get paid to this your starter business paystack account you will need to wait for 12 hours 12 hours of any working day because they don't pay saturdays and sundays so it must be a working day then you will just get an instant alert the next day the money will be credited into your account so i'm sure that's that for the introduction to um paystack and how the you can receive money with the paystack like i said i don't know if i've told you before but with this paystack account you can receive your money from any country at all any country they pay you from any country but for you to own this paystack account you must be a nigerian or a Ghanaian for now i'm sure they are still working on getting the paystack to other countries so that's that for um using the paystack account so now let's go to our main topic which is how to create a new post in wordpress how to create a new post in wordpress and how to sell digital products now for you to um make a post in your wordpress in wordpress first you need to log into your dashboard okay you need to log in and if you are logging in you don't necessarily need to visit like a wordpress.com to get access to your wordpress account no all you need to do is put your website address for example let's say um let me take for example jv music empire okay for me to uh, gain access to my account all i need to do is add this search bar which is your search bar you just go here and you type in um I see the web address your website address which is for here we are using jvmusicempire.com okay if i say just jvmusicempire.com it will land me to the home page but if i want to access the dashboard then i'll use jvmusicempire.com slash wp admin okay so this will take you to your wordpress dashboard slash wp admin take note of the website address here okay so it's jvmusicempire.com slash wp admin for example you can also have the web address as let's say xtrecoded.com slash wp admin or depending just my website dot com slash wp admin 
okay so this wp admin is an extension that will log give you access to login to your dashboard or to your back end now people uh, external um where your web visitors cannot have access to this wp admin dashboard except you give them access to okay this is strictly the back end and only the admins or the authors have access to this wp admin or your what dashboard so once you log in to this wp admin it will take you to your um, login page where you have to input your username and your password you can say remember me if you wish then you click on login all right so once you're logged in this will take you to your dashboard you can see here dashboard so this dashboard is the back end this is where you get um updates about almost everything that is happening on your website at this back end you don't really uh have anything to do here this is just statistics like the number of posts number of downloads pages and when you scroll down you can see at this section it gives you a summary of the digital uh, product that you are selling okay how much you've earned from it how many sales you've made so this is where you get all the summary the brief information about your product so here you can also uh, hide it if you want but once you start selling your products at this section here you can see downloads you can check your payment history and you select how many days interval you want to check or your all-time payment history so from here you can easily check what's going on how much you're making from your digital products while when you scroll down here i've also installed on um, jetpack this jetpack is the plugin we use to check how many visitors are coming on the website and how many and the kind of posts they are really visiting okay if i say view all stats it will take me to all the um all activities that have that are currently going on on the website okay here you can also check the seo but i'm not going to talk much on seo in this video i'm just going to focus more on we making a new post and we adding a new downloads on the, our website on our wordpress blog so to make uh, a new post on your wordpress blog the first thing you have to do is go straight to this place where i say post and you select add new okay or you can use this upper one add new post whichever you feel like so i'm going to open the dashboard to add a new post remember on our home page currently we have only one song which is um it's loading which is music by Tony power rangers so we want to add a new post or a new song to this um jv music empire so how do we add a new post how do we add a new song to this website okay so i'm going to look for a good song from this um x3coder.com and i'm going to select this one here yeah. Mm. All right, Zlatan. Money fits. All right, so this is a um, a brief description of how all posts come. Posts always have their title, their featured image, and a brief description the description can be long okay so if you're making a download you should also have a download button so when they click on it it pop up for them to download the song or the music or the article or whichever content you want them to download can pop up so I'll also show you how to add this download button in your WordPress blog 
so we're going to start by taking the post title which is this one here the last hand money fits like time so come here and in our new post you say add new so you can see here add new so this first box here is where you put your post title and this second box here is where you add the post description and other information about the post so here we can have um the post title which is Zinoleski money featuring Zlatan then here we would first go to the web page and download the featured image because we're going to upload it on our site where we're going to add the information there as in we're going to first download the picture and later upload it on the site this is very important um because i know a lot of people will just come to the site and then they'll copy um the image just copy the image and go back to their post and paste the image usually this would work when you copy an image copy image and you post it on your site you see it works if you copy an image you paste it on your site it will work okay but this is not advisable do not do this i'll give you why the reason why it's not advisable for you to copy an image like this from another website is if anything happens to this website this website you copy the image from then all the images you copied from the website will disappear from your blog and that means you'll have a lot of posts on your blog or your website without images trust me that your post is going to look very rough and sometimes when sites go down they always create a redirect group if this post is not found or if this content is not found redirect the visitor to my website so imagine you have 200 posts using a copied image and they set this redirect rule for those images all those your posts you've made so far they are all going to redirect to the website where you store or you copy the image from okay so that's that for copying an image it's not advisable stay away from it all you have to do is make sure you use this add media after downloading the image add media then locate where you kept or where you added where you saved the image you can see say upload files so you click on it you select the file so scroll mine is under music so if i scroll down i should surely see the cover photo which i downloaded money feels latin here we go you can see that so you say open and this will upload the image for you okay so once the image is uploaded it's advisable you add um this featured image that is the alternate text you can just say money by Zinoliski. okay as the featured image um img as the alternate text for the featured image then you say insert into post so this will add the picture inside the post and here i always like to center my images so everything floats in a good accordance then you can go for the site description we have the site description here want to see um it's not usually advisable you just copy and paste everything from another website to your own it's always more advisable that you run some edits on any post you're copying if possible try to make it unique because 
if you do copy and paste too much most of your songs will not appear on google search and if your post does not appear on google search <laughs> i don't see a good reason why you're making them <laughs> all right so now we've copied uh, a brief description about the post this is um, a subtitle or a subheading you can choose which heading you want from here so this is a subheading they say download music below you can choose to make this um download here or download music here whichever you want okay and once you do this i'm going to show you how to add link now to your post if you look at this section you see that the information here is pretty very few the menu bar that you can use to edit is very few this is not list it can be just click on this place where it says toggle uh, toolbar toggle and it will show you more options that you can use for your um, post editing or your post creation so for you to add um a download link for you to add a link to your post not necessarily download link but any link at all it can be a link to another post on your blog okay for example i want to link back to this first song here this first song here tiny power rangers i can just right click and copy link location then come back to my post the post i'm making now say at the end it's after the person must have downloaded this song i'll say suggested song or download also power rangers by 10 then highlight it i like to make it bold and then you see here it says insert slash edit link click on it to show you this box here where you can add your link so the link you copied from this post here you know you just right click and you said copy link location okay so that link you copied you need to paste it inside this box here or you can just type the name of whichever song you are looking for in this box it will pop up if you don't want to do so you can just copy the link paste the link you copied and you hit this apply and there we go so if i click here and i open it it's going to take me to that song power rangers by tenny okay so that is how you do linking you link post between your blog post you link uh, you add link to your post so let's say the music the link we are adding now is the download link okay and we're just going to pick a download link from this website x recorded here you see so i'll right click on this this is the download link if i click on it to pop up so this is the download link i'll right click on it and i'll say copy link location come back to my post and highlight it make it bold and then i'll paste the link here i'll say enter so that's so easy on how you can make your link your download um link but let's say you want to add um what is it called you want to add of or play um how is it called an audio player so that those that want to download the song get to play the song first before they start downloading it that's just is all you have to do is paste the music link and hit enter it will automatically change to an audio player you don't have to write any script you don't have to install any plugin this is a feature that comes with wordpress and that's why we always choose wordpress for our um, blogging platform is a lot more easier with more customized features all right so i guess um that's that for making a post the next thing here is you get to add tags and category like i said in at the beginning we said 
we're going to create posts add some resizing effect format details and we're going to add tags and categories so the question here is how do you add tags and categories if you look by this section i already have one category here it says what music if i want to add another category i'll just add new category and say niger music if that's what i want i can select the subcategory here and i'll add new category you can see we have niger music and we have music so i can make the music to be the primary domain or the primary category so talking about tags tags is more of like an easier way for you to access your content most times if you're making a music post I always use the artist name as the tag so that i can easily link back to the artist using artist name and category is really going to mess up your blog and the arrangement of your blog content so it's always advised that you use the tag to arrange your content without having to give it a rough look if you look very well at this um, post here you see that the tags appear at the down of the post unlike categories which appear at the top you can see here these are the tags okay music ten. so in this one i'm going to use um the tag as the first artist name control v separated by comma then music and the other artist name which is zelatan ibile so here i'll add the last tag here and i'll say add so these are the three tags i'm using for this um post i'm making here okay so after adding your tags i said something about adding featured image this is very important don't ever skip this the featured image is what you see at the front of your post okay so if you see all these posts they all have small thumbnail here these thumbnails are called featured image if i take my um, blog now if i take this uh, link to the home page you also see a lot of featured images if you don't add a featured image here at this section it will not appear on the home page it will not appear here so you only have the text and your site content is going to look very rough without featured image except you are using a theme that does not require featured image okay so to add the featured image same step you took for this one here you can always follow the same step just say set featured image and since we've already uploaded an image here all you have to do is select it select the image and say set as featured image but let's say you want to use another picture for your featured image all you need to do is say upload file and go through the same process as you did to upload this song so i've already selected this one for the featured image so i'll say set featured image you wait for it to appear here to make sure the featured image works so that's that for how to add featured image make new posts add category add tags and how can you publish this post now after making the post you can see here it says publish any post you make if you don't publish it it will not appear on the front page your visitors cannot see it there's nothing the post is just like only your admin those who have access to the site can access that content but when you publish it it comes to your home page and everybody can anybody that visits your site or views your link can now view it and download it okay so i'm going to publish the post now you can see here it says publish but let's say you're not true with the editing you can always save the post as draft so that you can come back later to complete the editing make sure your post is already is in good standing before you publish because immediately you publish it is going um is going on the internet and anybody anywhere in the world can view it so long they have the link. and and let's say 
one hour 30 minutes to one hour based on the seo settings you have on your blog is going to start appearing on google search okay so let's say you don't want to publish it immediately you can always edit when you want to publish it the time the date when you pub when you set this is going to be a more of like a scheduled post okay so i'm just going to hit publish now okay so our post here has now been published you can see post published and sending me to subscribers as if you have subscribers so if i reload this front page now we're going to see our recently published post wow isn't this awesome and since we added some link into it you can see here you can see what we said this is the link to the other one this is the audio player Alright, so if they click on the download link, you can see it will pop up and here you can download the song and you know whatever comes next to the person's mind you can use this song for. <laughs> Alright, so that's that for making a new music post. So now let's go over to the next update which is how to add a product or a song for sale which is the premium um product the premium um premium downloads so for you to add a premium download or a post for sale all you need to do is come to the download section remember if you're making a new a post that you want to appear on your home page you use add new in the post section but if you want it to be on the download section you have to come to downloads and you say let's use all, all downloads for now so all downloads will show you all the downloads that have been made so far and their prices okay but if you want to add new you just click on add new same process some procedure you follow for making a new post that same procedure you have to follow for making what a download or a premium product that you want to sell on your blog okay so let's say for example this same song here is available for sale let's say i want to sell this song or did i pick another song hmm. let's see timmy j fake love um all right let's go for malik okay young six wow i love this guy he's for up so let's say this young six music is available for sale all you still need to do remember you always have your post title here Control c come over to the download say add download name here you paste it so this song here is going to be available for purchase in our premium download list okay so after adding you add a brief description i always advise you add featured image but since it's a product for sale you can choose not to add featured image inside the post so you're going to download the featured image save image okay so come over to your download upload it same procedure like i said um young six decisions here you remember to always add your um alternate tags is going to give you more ranking 
on Google search when you do you see insert into the handle so we have our image here I like to center it like I said earlier but if you want to resize the picture you'll click on edit and you set the size that you want they say update okay it's something very easy just we at your own pace at your own leisure time it's a, it's a very advisable that you just play around with all these functionalities here all these menus and option boxes they all have cool features like if it's here now this place tells you about how many sales you've made from this new post or this new download you're making and how much you've earned so far from each of them so when we scroll down remember we we'll always add featured image you can see this is the download image the download featured image you select and you still add same track okay same way you upload a uh, an image that same way you upload both pictures and videos if you want but it's not advisable you upload videos directly to your blog if you want to upload videos please do make use of youtube that's a more preferred way to upload videos so here we're going to add a brief description of this music post okay control c Control V to paste. So, since this uh, product on sale, you might want to add um the featured that's the audio player, same audio player we added earlier on. You can add it on your downloads, but it's a bit more advisable that if you're adding an audio down an audio player for a downloadable product, you don't add the full um the full music because people can always have you can people can always have their own back end way so make sure you just add like a demo version of the song you want to sell or of the product you want to sell so that people don't bypass it and then get the link because what you are selling everything you sell you sell it via links okay so if people can on script this link they can download whichever song you're hiding so make it short make it with watermark and make it to be just a demo okay so the real product the real link of the song you want to sell you don't add it here unlike when you're making a post you know if you're making a post you have to add download here download music download the loan less key money but for here you don't do such rather you just come down to where it says download price then you fix a price let me say this one is sold for 200 naira you get it now so if this one is sold for 200 naira you don't come here and say download here not necessary but if you say download here then you are giving them access to the download so it will not be available for purchase but if you come to this section where it says download prices you fix a price that you want to sell the product for and at this section here download files you put the name of the file you can say the name of the file is um decisions by young six So name of file you can say control v decisions by young six mp3 you can put the mp3 in black in bracket whichever suits you best then this way you put the link to the product you want to sell not inside the post if you put it inside the post it's not available for sale again but when you add it here then it's available for sale if you don't have the link to the product already you can always click on upload image upload a file then upload the song you want to sell i don't really have um songs on my system since my um blogging i usually use just links around i upload via link so for you to add it just follow the same process for example this song here jusu and jude music 
if i select it it will automatically pop up a download link for me you can see that but if maybe you don't have the download link you can always go to wherever you're getting the song or the instrument or the mp3 or the software or any file you want to sell copy the link location same way we did for post and come back and then here control a control v then you post it here so this one is an alternative if you don't have link okay if maybe you are selling more than one product you can only use this add new file if you want to leave a special note for the product so that people that purchase it will know more like an additional feature of the product they are buying you can use this so just at your leisure like i said earlier scroll around look um play with some of the uh some of the information here read it through and i'm certain you'll get familiar with them a lot more easier so the download tags you can use music or whichever you want to use as tag i've already explained the meaning of tags earlier so you add the tag and for the download category i've also explained how to add category so once you've done all these settings like i've explained you still hit on publish and when you do the song is going to come up in this your premium downloads and from here you can see it's you know decisions by young six the featured image then you can purchase it let's say the we remember we added a brief description about the product that is on sale so if the um the purchaser or your audience or your customer wants to have a preview of what they want what they are buying they want to play the song a little before they purchase it that's the essence of us adding this audio player all they need to do is open the song by clicking either the song title or the image and this will display the song like a post and here they can make a preview play the song a little and see how the song is the instrumental or any product you are selling they can make a preview and then if they like it they hit the purchase you understand now this purchase will not uh, give them access to download the song they have to check out and they have to make payment first before they can they have to make payment first before they can get the download link for this song unlike when we made a normal post where they can just click on download here it opens but when we we'll do it the way i just told you by filling the download information that setting the price here and making it available for purchase instead of adding the download link then whosoever is purchasing the product whosoever is doing the product we need to go to checkout that add the products to cart go to checkout and fill in his or her information you can see these are the two songs that have been placed for purchase at this point you can see if the person has to fill in his or her information uh, their email address phone number and all of that then they'll click on purchase after filling their information so this information will help you as the admin to know who is buying which song and where they are buying it from you get so now it's going to take us to where we can make payments wow isn't that great <laughs> i so much love the idea of online payment because you that are selling this product you don't have to be there always you can be sleeping while someone is on your website buying whichever product you placed on sale and you know how it works so like i said i've already implemented an online payment they can either pay using their card by entering their card details here and they can also pay using their bank by selecting which bank they use for their online transactions and fill in their bank detail and other information that pertain um, buying products online okay so these are the easy ways that you can actually sell your digital products online 
without having to send them your account number but if you still wish you can still send them your account number all of them are very very necessary based on how you've planned it out okay so that's how to make a new product available for sale and that's how to add a post so as bloggers we have um a way we actually get songs we don't usually upload songs by adding media no i don't do that there's what we call music upload script once it's installed on your website all you need to do is get the link of the song once you get the link of, of the song you copy it to this download script i would have loved to show you the download script of my own site let me just give you a brief example sx3coder.com slash m tag slash question go so this is where my own music script is located out x3 coded so you can see the link will be changed any moment from now so it only works for the demo of this video <laughs> so here you paste the link of the song you want to upload okay then you put the artist name let's say ken oh uh, you like me as the song title then the album if there's an album then the producer okay the producer can be tom zine it's tom zine music baby <laughs> or tom zine beats okay so whichever um the producer name is you can fill it in here so once you've done once you fill this information you hit upload the song will automatically be uploaded to your server and the informations of the song will be changed without you having to upload the song and some of the benefits of you uploading your song using the upload panel is is automatically adds your music link your website link at the end of the song title and also it has your logo your banner your music cover whichever you are using to promote your site inside the song so if you see very well if you you will so you like it if you get it on your own website it's very easy and you don't have to bond that at uploading songs often you don't have to use apps to edit your um what is it called your music cover all of these features are done easily using this upload panel